What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video of Dragon Ball Legends. I really do hope you're all doing well. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content as always. Now we're going to do a whole bunch of summoning in this video. Have you not seen the update? It is the new Broly and new Demon King Piccolo. So we will be summoning on those banners right after we do this sparking banner weekend, which is pretty cool. So it's only 100 stones. And we get... Nice. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth. So, uh, new character, don't know too much, but let's check out his stats real quick and see if he's worth upgrading or not. Hybrid Saiyan, strike, I believe it said attack. Check his stats, wow, 277k uh, strike attack. And decent defense right there, so definitely might have to look into upgrading him later on. Really good pull, so I'm actually happy with that. Now, we have these other two master packs right here, but... That's not the start of the video, so let's go summon on this banner right now. We're going to do four summons. Yes, bringing our total down to 408 after these summons. But let's check this out. The Super Saiyan Broly right here is Demon King Piccolo, Jirin, pretty cool, Topo, Dispo, Metal Cooler, Baragamo, and Trunks Youth are the promoted characters. So let's check out the legendary finish of the Super Saiyan Broly right here. <laughs> Of course, they're using a Cyberman. It's over. Oh wow, that's a nice animation right there. So we can definitely pull this Broly and use him. I would uh, be pretty excited, honestly. I would bump up our Saiyan team, even this uh, Demon King Piccolo. If we can use him on a Namek team or any other kind of team. Uh, so that's pretty good. Cool. It's one of his ultimate moves. So again, de really good character. So we can pull him as well. I'd be pretty happy. So let's just hop right into it right now. Now. If you guys haven't seen the last video, we couldn't get the Kid Buu, but that's alright. Now, you know, today's a new day, new summons. We got General Tao on the on the animation right there. So, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Should be a lot of sparking units in this episode. Obviously, one is guaranteed because we're doing consecutive. But if we can get more than one, I would be really happy about that. Now, it does look like they bumped the rates up for the sparking characters, which is pretty nice. At least for this banner, I've noticed. Um, or at least I heard people say in other videos. So, kind of intrigued. You know, we just need more sparking units to bump up our team. That is the main goal. And just acquiring more characters. So, we're getting a lot of heroes right there. But here's our first sparking. It is Metal Cooler. So, our Frieza team or our LOE team is pretty okay i'd say with in terms of support definitely need to star up our cooler and freezes but having metal cooler as well is gonna upgrade that team even more which is pretty nice definitely let me know in the comments below if i should upgrade this cooler right here as we're just uh, starring up some other units like jacko and the vegeta right here but pretty good we got cooler so episode sagas from the movies always useful now again make sure to like comment and subscribe for more content we're close to 700 subscribers, so that's really good. Thank you all again for the continued support. And uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I just know... Uh, oh, and I, right there we get Topo, okay. So again, I don't know too much about him. We get Beerus as well, extreme type character. Maybe he'd probably be decent support. Get Deborah, decent uh, character for an extreme type. So all these support characters definitely going to help out the main hitters in the lineup. Right here, the Super Boo, really good. Android 15, we spoke about him in the last video. He's really good. Metal Cooler again, I'm actually surprised we pulled another Metal Cooler. Oh, another Spark again, it's another Metal Cooler, different type though. So very interesting, I don't know which of the two Metal Coolers is better. We'll have to look into that maybe off camera. But, you know, a new unit is a new unit. So we got this cooler to four star. And we got a Cyberman to three star. And we get this Super Boo to three star as well. Upgrades his regen ability. So that's really good. And also this Android 15. So there we go. We actually got him to three star. So he's going to be bumping the uh, attack and defense by 30%. Really good. And also this cooler got to three star. So not bad of the pulls in these past two multi summons we have two more to go and here's this topo uh don't know too much about him i do see some people running him he is a defense type character i really honestly don't know too much about him to comment on him so we have two more multi summons left hopefully we can pull those characters that more characters that they showed on the banner so let's see who we start out with general tau 
Mercenary Tau. Jice. Jacko. See what else? Beerus again. Okay, so I don't know too much about that Beerus. Might have to look into him and see who he buffs. I'm gonna guess God Key. In that sense, we do have Champa, and we do have the. Got his name, but uh, he's in one of the gods. We got a Sparking Final Form Freezer right there. So a new character, which is pretty nice. Again, I don't know too much of the characters in this game. Um, obviously, as I play and use the characters, I get to know them better. Um, our regen lineup is looking really good. Android lineup is looking really good. I do want to start doing more PvP videos for you guys. Uh, maybe even playing against you guys some days. But uh, again, we have to progress a little bit further in the campaign. So that's one thing I got to do. Now here's the details of this Frieza melee type yellow boost yellow as well. Stats look pretty good actually for the strike attack. And it comes with a blast and melee card or strike card. So this is the last multi summon of the video. Make sure to hit that like button uh, for the support. Pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about this one just because of the background. We're definitely probably going to get two sparking units here. Um, you know, we're going to go out on a bang. So I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Super Saiyan Kamehameha, defeating this freeze in the animation is a good sign, as far as I know. Here we go, starting off with a sparking right away, and we get Jirin. We have Topo and Jirin, I wonder if they work well together. This Jirin is actually pretty good, just for some videos that I've seen on him. We get another one, and we get more Jirin, nice. So we can get him to like, 3 star, 4 star maybe, that's pretty good. Uh, powerful opponent team. Um, I believe we have a few characters that are powerful opponent, so we might even have another team right there, which is pretty good. He's also Universe 11 as well. So again, really good. Another Sparking and his Baragamo. Nice. Okay, so that is really good. I'm actually really excited for those pulls. That's pretty much going to wrap up the video of Dragon Ball Legends. Can just take a look into this Jirin really quick before we do end it. So yeah, he is 3 star, which is really good. And you see right there, Rival Universe, and also Powerful Opponent, Strike Attack. So really good. Uh, definitely going to be checking him out. And we also ended off with a 3 star Krillin, because, you know, why not? And then, yeah, so here is the Jirin. He's green type, melee type. And you see some of his abilities. His attacks are pretty, his stats are pretty good. Defense is a little low, but it's not too bad. That's pretty much going to wrap up the, the video. He's also, you see right there, buffing some key back. And uh, yeah, pretty satisfied with this banner. Couldn't get the LF Broly, but that's all right. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, I'm out. Later.